Hello folks, Danny here. This is part four of my Final Cut Pro 10 basic training series. In the last video I talked about adding transitions to your timeline. In this video I thought it might be a good idea to start talking about the audio and showing you how to adjust audio etc. So, as you can see here in my little timeline I've got um, three clips and if I want to adjust audio there's a number of things I can do. So if I go to my zoom tool and just zoom in on, on this clip, then go back to my select tool, I can then um, adjust the audio levels here. This is the actual sound wave below the actual video clip. And I can actually pull this line up and it will make the audio levels higher. I would recommend never pulling them up too high as in where the audio wave goes red. Because if it goes red I think you'll get a bit of distortion or at least it might be too loud. So, I always say don't go above yellow. Obviously, depending on how loud you want it. It's how far you pull it up. And also, you can pull it down. We have, the line, we have the line and you can pull it down to make the clip quieter. If I pull it all the way down, it will disable the audio if I choose to. So, I'll pull the audio levels up a bit. Also, what I can do here, which is quite good. So we come to the end of the clip, you see a little bubble or a little balloon has appeared right at the end of the clip and this allows me to fade the audio in or it can be faded in very it fade it in quickly or fade it in very slowly if I wish. And if I go to the end of the clip I can fade the audio in and out quickly or slowly depending on how I choose. What you will sometimes notice if you've got transitions or a number of different clips, a number of different audio tracks. It doesn't always show the um, audio track um, fully. So what you sometimes a good idea to do is double click on the audio like this, and you can see the actual. It'll sort of like kind of detach the audio, or at least allow you to see the full audio track. And there, what I can do then is go to the end of the audio track, and I can make it longer or shorter. So if I want it to go into another scene, I can pull it to make it longer, etc. Same on these other clips here, as you can see here, this audio track for this, for this footage also goes into the um, transition and I can choose it, I can grab this and I can choose how long or short I want this. So I'll just double click on it, double click on the audio And you can see this audio track also goes into this scene as well. But if I want to, I can um, fade it in or fade it out. Also, I can grab it here, make it shorter or longer. So, just to clarify that, if you double click on the audio tracks, it will hide them. And it will also, if you double click on them, you'll get a better view of actually what's happened with your audio. Next up, what about adding music to your clip or an external audio track, etc? Well, if you go over to this musical note, as you probably can guess, this is your um, sounds, what you can use, music, etc. And we've got Final Cut, we've got some Final Cut Pro sound effects. Now, to get these by standard, you've got to download them separately. So, to do that, you have to go to the Final Cut. Pro menu and go down to download additional content, click on this and basically run the update and it will install these extra sound effects for Final Cut Pro. So you need to do that if you want the Final Cut Pro sounds. It's about 600 megabytes worth of sounds so it's not massive. It might take a while to download though. So going back to this, but we've also got iLife um, sound effects. So if you've got iLife installed then you also can use them sound effects and also any music in that in your, in your iTunes folder in your iTunes library you can use as well so I'll go into my iLife sounds for this um, example I'll go into jingles and I'll quickly choose a random song I can then click on it and play it Twenty 
20 seconds jingle, you've got your name there, and you've got the length of it, 20 seconds. And I can just grab that, like so. So there you go, now I can play this clip. Also, what we might be worth mentioning, you can also add audio effects to your audio clips. So this can be the audio, what's, what's with your video clip, or a separate audio track. You can actually add effects. So you want to go to the effects panel. And you, at the top, it's mostly video effects. But if you scroll down, you do have audio effects. And these are all your audio effects. And there's like loads of different ones. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what effects there is. But if you want to add an effect, you can just look for something you like the look of. And you can grab this actual file and drag it and drop it on the top of your audio clip. So for example, I can drop it on this this um, this scene. You can't drop it onto this scene because this scene has no audio. So it would be pointless. That's why it's not going to allow me to do it. But I can drop it onto this scene or I can drop it into this audio track if I wish. And it will change the audio. So we'll do that here. So I've dropped it there. So that should, in theory, change the audio. But what I can do is, because I've still got this selected, I can go on to me, up to me inspector, and I can go to my effects, and go show effects. Find that effect I've just put on, uh, just added, which is the car radio effect, and I can adjust the effect, and obviously see how it sounds and stuff. So let's have a listen, see if it's done all. So that's a adjusted effect. What that effect seems to have done is made it sound like really cheap speakers, as if I've got some really crap speakers um, on my TV or whatever. So that's quite a cool effect. So there's like loads of effects, what can alter the music, the audio, the background sounds. You can, for example, make, make it more echoey or distort the audio. Just absolute loads of different things you can do with the audio. One last thing I'll point out is that also what you can do if you wish to is if you go to your actual movie or your actual um, video clip, if you right click on it, you can actually detach the audio. So, here you see it here, detach audio, and it will actually detach the audio track here. So you can then move it around a lot more freely, etc. That's something you may want to do, or you can obviously delete it, etc.